Okay, hello guys. Well, I meant to record the first round of this popper challenge, and uh, by the way, my name is Caleb. I tried to record the first round of my popper challenge that I played, my first popper challenge. I played against a green red Tron. I beat him in the well, I beat him in the first round, but they beat me in the second with their sideboard options. Well, no, yeah, they beat me in the second with their sideboard options and the third. So I kind of lost the first round, but. I'm hoping that things go better for the second round, and I hope that my recording software works now. Uh, apparently I didn't hit the button hard enough, so it didn't record, which is always a wonderful feeling. But uh, until then, how about I show you my deck? Okay, so what we got going on here is pretty much your basic boggle deck. I didn't really change anything in the main deck, keeping that aura gnarled just because that's actually pretty strong. The only thing I changed was uh, two cards in the sideboard. I gave myself a seal of cleansing and a circle protection green. The protection from green helps against, like, I don't know, green aggro decks. Just in case I can't get a fast enough start, it helps protect me until I can. The seal of cleansing is to get rid of opponent's seal of, well, sigil of protect, uh, circle of protection green. And uh, just. Usually I cut this unbridled growth, so I might replace it for the next time I do a challenge like this. Which, I might do a challenge next week depending on how my work schedule looks. But uh, until then, we'll see. And uh, other than Sunday, I'll probably upload an episode as well as Wednesday and Friday. Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Sounds like a good schedule to me. I'll make sure to post that somewhere. Let's... uh. Let's go back to the Q and I'll see you in round two. Wait a second. Isn't the timer supposed to be 50 minutes? Um, are there like buy times or something? Not really buy times, but uh, there are times where they get a little bit of time in? Can I check my buddies? Nope, I don't have any buddies. Okay, just everyone, I guess. Okay. There are still two matches left. And they've gone a whole minute over time. Okay, well... I'll be back after the little time break, I guess. Hello there, guys. Welcome to round two. We will be playing against the Scared Devil this time. Hmm. I do not have a turn one creature. I have a turn one creature in this and a mana filter, so I'll keep it. And I will get rid of a ring. Well, get rid of one of the ethereal armors, I guess. Okay, so I'm going first, so I will play the Glade Cover Scout. That'll do good. And then yield through their turn. Let's see what they're playing. Okay. Oh, they're playing either elves or stompy. Okay, first strike. I'll use it as a defense. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. They play Vines of Astwood. Just let it through, I guess. Burning Tree Emissary. Emissary. And Acquiring Ranger. Okay. Cartouche. And we'll just let it go, and then next turn I'll play the Rancor or something. Let's hope I draw that one planes. 1 in 52 chance, guys. Still can't block because he's holding up Vines of Vast with mana. I don't want to lose my Glade Cover Scout. Another blocker, that's good. There we go, now I'm safe. Okay, yield. Come on, give me another mana. So I can give myself the pseudo lifelink. Trample. And he has vines of Aswood mana still. So we block a 2 2.
goggle not what I was hoping for. But it gives me another blocker. I can deal with all of his creatures now with the vines of the vastwood. So I'll hold back for now and hope for another man on my next turn. I will definitely be sighted boarding in that uh, circle of protection green though. Because uh, that will help tremendously against this deck. I just have to hope that I get a white mana and it in my hand. Okay, so what to cut for that? I don't know. Let's focus on the game here, though. Okay. Just the vines of Vastwood to be able to kill it. It's attacking with everything, okay. I'll block that. Two vines of Vastwood, though, would be enough. So let's just... Let's just do this. I'll be t he can kill me right now if he has Vines of Vastwood, though. I just messed up. He didn't have the Vines of Vastwood, it seems. Come on, mana. What does he got? What does he got? I die on my next turn unless I get a uh, Vines of Vastwood, because that'd be one, three. Yeah, I die unless I get a uh, mana. Okay, what are you playing? Hmm. That'll survive a Vines of Vastwood. And that wasn't a mana, so I lose. Okay, concede. Okay, game two. Circle protection green. Change off one of those beef spells for that. Unbridled growth, favor the overbeing. What else to take out? Uh, Creature Solidarity, since I replaced it for one cost enchantment. Um, two Gut Shots, just because that can deal with his small creatures before they get big. And they're just running their original deck, so let's see how we do. Okay, I'm on the play. Creature, got it. Easy peasy Lemon Street. Summon the Boggle, next turn probably play the draw spell. Draw spell and Rancor. Or the mana spell and Rancor. I think I'll go mana Rancor. What's he got for one mana? Anything he drops will be strong enough to stop me, yeah. Like a choir and ranger. Why did I did I name green? Dang. Okay, I have the ability to make any color mana though. Okay. I thought I just messed up there. <laughs> I was a little worried. Hate vines of Vastwood. Okay. Bring your emissary. And a vault scourge. Okay. Next turn, I'll give it the pseudo lifelink. For now, I have enough. Let's hit him down to 11. Then next turn, I can hit him for lethal, I believe. No, that's only plus three, plus three. Maybe lethal. Elephant Guide. On the flyer. I forgot it has lifelink. Okay. Let's throw these two in front of the Nettle Sentinel. That's my biggest concern right now. 
I'll take six damage, go down to 13. Then I can kill that for bringing me down to 11. Just because that's that represents mana and untapping creatures. And I wouldn't use the ability because it would put you down so much. And then I'll give my creature pseudo lifelink. I don't think he was expecting gut shot. Or he was expecting me to pay mana for it. But no, I'm just using my life total. Because I'm about to gain 10 life anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, <sighs> come on, scared devil. I know you're scared, but choose. Thank you. Okay. Light. Yep, 10. This will put me back up to 21. There we are. So, Vine to Vastwood and a Morbid. Well, and a, uh... Yeah, a Morbid would be the only way to do it. For now, he doesn't have much option. That won't survive. That's three, so that would block seven. No, that's three, so you'd take seven. Three, four, five. Oh, gaining six, too, as well. That'll do it. Oh, no. That's not good for him. That's game. Yeah, he saw it. Okay, getting sideboarding. Deal with the flyer. What to do? I will add, actually add in a seal of cleansing and a single natural state. What to get rid of the fling and a. I already got rid of an armadillo cloak. The cartouche of strength. Okay. Let's see how this does against him. They decided to play. They're probably going to decide to play first. Okay. What do I have? One mana. No. No mana. No mana. Well, one mana. Oh, come on. And this is ridiculous. Okay, what to put away? Seal of Cleansing, Crumbling Vestige, a Forest, I only get to keep two cards, a Gnarlid, and a Utopia Sprawl, it's ridiculous, I'll have three cards after I draw though, but all those are on the bottom of my lab right now, there's just no way I can win this now, ugh, why were there no lands? No, I'm taking it. I have to take it. Okay. Not what I needed. Okay. Two cards I can draw that would change this game. And the likelihood of me drawing them are 8 out of 54. And that was not one of them. Okay, let's see. I don't have much to do against this. Yeah, this is another loss for me. Sorry, guys. I just had terrible draws. Okay, well... See you all in round three. Welcome back to round three, guys. We're going up against Kaikal Bukurku. Okay, I am so sorry, whoever you are, for so badly butchering your name. But in my defense, that's a really hard name to pronounce. I'm going to call you KKB. How's that? That's probably offensive. So I'll just... I'll call you Kai. I'll call them Kai while I mention them. Okay. 
So Kai is playing Affinity. I don't have the best matchup against Affinity, but I can deal with it. Okay, let's go ahead and prove. That was a bad decision. Well, not the worst decision. Okay. I'll be taking four on the crack bat, but next turn I'll be able to deal five and gain five. So I think that's good. Oh, another Carapace Forger. And a Frogmite. Hmm, I won't be able to get him on the crack back, I don't think. And, okay. I was expecting Galvanic Blast for some reason, but then I forgot I have Hexproof. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do the defensive play right now. Heliod's Pilgrim grabbing me an Ancestral Mask or something. Or maybe the armor. Ethereal armor. Yeah, that should do. Not attacking on that. Okay. So next turn I play the Ethereal armor and two boggles, depending on what I draw, actually. I will be playing the Ethereal armor 100%, though. Ah, uh, he has an 8-tog already? That makes my attack so much worse. I am more scared of the Atog than I am him, of those, although they are beefy as heck. Okay, I can play both. I did not actually count on this, but it lets me do it. It'll let me do this, so I should be good. How much can he beef up his guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So fourteen. I have to hold it back for defense. My only hope is that I can draw an Ancestral Mask next turn. Because if I draw an Ancestral Mask, then I can just fling for game. Oh my gosh. He has another Murn. He has a Murn Enforcer now. He's got Fling. No, he doesn't. Okay. He showed his hand. Okay, to 12, 11, hmm, okay, Boggle, and I guess another Boggle for now, Ancestral Mask, actually, even a Ethereal Armor would do it, no, I need Ancestral Mask to be able to have the mana to do it. I could give it flying. Okay, another Atog. I can deal with that. Ooh, a Cartouche of Strength. You. Gain me life. Yes, this is good. Okay. You take out the untapped one. Yes, use the ability. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm safe for now. And I can't even fling anyway. Okay. I still need an ancestral mask though. No, even an ancestral mask wouldn't do much for me. I need to land in an ancestral mask. Have we only been drawing one card at a time? Yeah, we have. Whew, this has been an intense game. Okay. I got this one beefy guy, which if if I had all these enchantments on the Boggle, he'd be dead. Just because it gives it flying then, instead of just Vigilance. But I didn't know that I'd be needing to get over, if that makes any sense. Because he has to sacrifice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the... 6 to the Atog to make it live. That makes me feel like he has the double strike. Trample and the ability. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 16 puts it up to 17, 17, 34. Yep, I have to block everything. Ok, 
Okay. I think he's got the killing blow here. I hope not, but we'll see. He can beef it up enough to survive. That is true. He's got to sacrifice two more for that. Oh, dog cough. Okay. The Atog will die, though, in the end, so that's good. Oh. He's going for the full kill. Atog will still die. He has to sacrifice his last artifact. I will gain 13 life off this exchange. And I will get my Rancor back. And one of my Boggles will survive? No, they'll all die. Yep, he has the double strike trample. Okay. So I die. I think. We will see. If I just would have had one more turn to draw something, I probably would have had it. But that's the way these things work. And that's... Oh, it's not game. He doesn't have enough things to sacrifice. <laughs> he forgot about my life gain. Hey, that's good. Kai forgot about my life gain. Okay, so now this is just about who can build up their board faster. So you can hit me for six a turn, so that gives me three turns. There's the ancestral mask I needed. Okay, now I need a land. I should probably replace that one enchantment that I never use with a uh, one more turn no he can kill me on his next turn if he just swings and sacrifices I die oh never mind well he can still do it he didn't do it okay I die anyway yep that's game okay concede well, match two. Deal with artifacts. And the circle of protection red, just because that completely shuts down his deck. Uh, I guess standard bears work pretty well against him too. Get rid of this fling, it didn't do much help. Or Gnarled, Cartouche of Solidarity. I'm sorry about all the noise in the background. My dog's having a nice old time with one of his toys. Who knows, I might put a video of him up here later. After I'm done with this uh, game. Oh, he's cute running around. Okay. Okay. Let's run it and see how this goes. Hopefully I win this one, because otherwise I don't think there's any coming back for me. Because I'm already in 63rd place. Yeah. I am that low right now. Oh. Both Circle of Protection Reds. Ugh. I need more to be able to deal with his affinity, though. Circle of Protection Red is great, but... I'll, I gotta go down to five. Yes, this is better. Okay. Goodbye, Ancestral Mask, and goodbye, Ancestral Mask, I guess. Okay. So now I know I won't be drawing them, but still better than nothing. Okay. Yield through their turn. Indestructible. You ruined my plan to destroy your land. Okay, this is good. No, not the natural state. I can't do that. Okay. Sylvanas Lightwood Walker. Hit him for one. And get out of there. Okay. We just need to make sure not to sacrifice, like, three creatures at once. That I can get rid of, though. But I can only play one of them at right now. I will... Get rid of the guaranteed mana. Okay. So 
So now I put him down to two mana. <laughs> he plays another uh, prism. Okay, and a frogmite. Okay. Basically, land cycling. Cycling. Get planes. Play that. Okay. 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 This is going good. I hope he sighted out those Galvanic Blasts because those are kind of useless in his deck right now. So he has. Ooh. 4 4. Draw, a card, draw some cards. Okay. He's playing this deck ridiculously well this game. And I guess I'm taking two because I want to block that four next turn. Okay. So he has two turns. I have. A few turns. How many turns exactly? Two, six. I have less than three turns. So numbers wise, unless he plays something ridiculously good, I should have this. Let's oh I'm not even ridiculously good, just decent in general. Like an ATOG. That would do it. Hmm. He has fling. That's game, guys. Oh, he almost messed it up there, though. 7, 9, 11, 13. All he needs to do is sacrifice three more, and then he can kill me. Yep. Oh, well. Had a good run, guys. I will see you all in round three. I guess. Well, round four, I guess. Yep, that's game. That is unfortunate. Okay. Round four, guys. Hello there, guys. We're back with round five. Round four, I got a buy, so I didn't... I just sat around and didn't really do anything. But now... Let's see if we can beat the Master of Seasons. I wonder what his record is. We'll see after we beat him. Yeah, after we beat him. Okay. What you got going for you, Master of Seasons? And how does this clock always keep going past 50 on these end-of-match timers? It's annoying. Okay. I hope I get one of those draw spells next turn. And, of course, it's Tron. Red-green Tron. Okay. That's a better turn 3 play. Hold on to the cartouche for whenever he plays the... Uh, Fargrin Marauder. Okay, that's five life. He can't gain with the Fargrin. That's good. Let's hope he doesn't hit any of the lands. Taking him time to look at it. Oh, he hit one of the lands. Okay. So another five life. He probably isn't getting back. Then we'll slap the strength on it just to uh, make sure we get it, get that damage in. Although slapping the strength on should be enough to kill a uh, Fargrin Marauder. Okay. Oh, he's got the trifecta. I smell a Fargrin Marauder. I'd play it at least. This is the second red green Tron I've gone up against in this challenge. Oh, Mole Drifter? Yeah, Mole Drifter. Okay. I'll kill a Mole Drifter. Okay, what are you gonna play? Chromatic Star? Maybe I hold on to it. Let's play the Ledge Walker for now. We'll hold on to the fight spell for the uh, Fargrin Marauder. As it is right now, I think I'll be able to kill him on in my next turn. If I play the Cartouche's Strength, either way. I could have given my guy plus three, plus three. Which would have... Put him down to four, which would have been death on my next turn, but... A Far Green Marauder could undo all of my work. Marauder. Okay. Yep. It's a good thing I called it. 
Ah, oh, you can gain five life now off it. Fun. Okay. Well, there goes my last attack. Okay, two, three. Take out the far right marauder. Yep. I just needed to take out the marauder. And now he has no colored mana. That's great. He's wasted it all. That's the problem with them not running. Well, I don't. I haven't seen a prismatic, prophetic prism, but I don't know yet. So I will hold off on my accusations. But if he is running a prophetic prism, then we might be in a little bit of trouble because he currently has six, ten, twelve mana. Assembler. That sounds like an assembler to me. I draw a white source or a mana chain or a mana filter. I should have this game in the bag because it will give my guy plus three, four, five, six, plus six, which would put me up to fourteen, which would be more than enough to deal with his assemblers and also first strike. Ooh, a map. That was not what I wanted. Okay. You'll throw this turn. I'd honestly crack that map and go for a basic color land or. Oh, six, eight. Crusher. Of course, it's a crusher. There we are. Okay. That's plus four. That's game. <laughs> yes. Round two, my man. Okay. So artifacts, protection green, seal of cleansing, two natural states, trade off an armadillo cloak, I'll keep the strength, get rid of that, get rid of the overbeing was a lifesaver there, get rid of the unbridled growth, I never use the unbridled growth anyway so I'm not, I don't feel too bad about cutting it, and cut the fling, no not red. Uh, the Seal of Cleansing. Come on, put it in the deck. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Let's go first. I'll keep this hand. I have a mana filter. I have a mana keep. Keep. I will play the Boggle first, then the draw. What have you got, Master of Seasons? You got red, green, Tron, that's what. That's good. Okay, so we play the Cave of Temptations, Abundant Growth on the Cave of Temptations, then turn it into an Ethereal Armor. Yep, that's what we do. Turn we get another ethereal armor. Okay. Yeah, I'm I had a really good hand this game. Okay. 
I don't know if he's going to be able to pull out of this. If he can, kudos to him, or the, or she, or them. Master of Seasons, who knows? Oh, and he didn't hit the land he needed. Okay. That was unfortunate. Should I play this just to get the mana out? That put me up to a little bit more, so yeah, let's play it. Green for the state. Choose white. Tap the unbridled growth. And then the armor. And he quit. Yep. Okay. Woo! I won! Under nine minutes. There we go. Okay. So this is good. Oh, okay, so I'm matched up with the... I'm at the same rank as Unicorn Paradise right now. Okay, and he got the two threes. Oh, Master of Seasons. He got bumped down to a two three because of me. Nice. QC... Let's organize my record right now. Okay, who all is at my level? I'm going to take a quick look. Okay, two, 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 twos. Here we go. Two threes. You see Romas who quit. Master of Seasons in Unicorn Paradise. Okay. Okay, well, that all went great. I'll see you all in round six. Hello there, guys, and welcome to the Unicorn in Paradise. Or Popper Standing still. Going up to see what this person's got for me. See if I can get into the top 32. I'm currently at 50, but I think if I win my next two rounds, if there are two rounds, I have a strong chance of getting up there. Okay, I just have to hope that nobody else is prepared for Boggles, Boggles as well as that first guy I faced did. Destroy all enchantments. Man, that was strong. And at least uh, nobody's running the green Mold Shambler deck. Destroy my lands. That was really it. That really hurts a lot. Okay. Let's hope they come back online soon so that we can uh, get this round underway. Because I would really enjoy uh, some good matches since I have did so terribly in my first few. Well, actually, no, that... It, the one against, uh, oh, who were they? That was like three hours ago. But that one against that one guy was actually pretty good. I think they were running a green Tron deck. Green Red Tron. Yeah, that was a good match. I mean, I ended up losing, but still, it was a pretty even match up until they got all their self-assemblers on the field. Um, I'll just come back whenever they're online. Okay, we're back. Sorry I didn't show the first hand, but... Showing you this six now. I kept it. The other card in my hand was a Glade Scout. So it was another Hexproof creature. It was another Boggle, basically. So I just kept one Boggle, the blue-green Boggle, just in case I draw the uh, favor of the Overbeing. But, uh, let's see. I already used three minutes just waiting here, so this is probably going to be a long match. Oh, Mono Red. And there's the favor of the Overbeing, just like I said. I wonder what he's playing. Ow! Did he just quit like that? Okay. Saw that he's running red. Of uh, lifelink, I guess. I honestly don't know what's in his deck now. So I'll just take these three out and hope for the best. Okay, let's go for it. This might be a quick match. Okay, Unicorn Paradise. With that, uh, Gorilla Shaman, I think, is their thing? Okay, I'm keeping this. Yield through their turn. I hope they don't quit on a turn one Boggle again. Okay, they are burned. That's good to know. Let's do this. going to play a little slow so I can get my stuff out because I still fear for the electricery. So what's six? Okay. At 
this green you'll do this turn I know I'll lose the mana but turn off that sound okay okay now I'm safe to play the slippery boggle and some enchantments okay do I drop another one I will drop another one I guess yeah let's put a rancor on it Okay, next turn we drop an Ancestral Mask, or no, we'll drop an Armadillo Cloak on it. Yeah, that's game. There we go. Woo! Okay, won the match. That was really quick. Okay. Six minutes. I guess I'll be back in round four. Well, round seven, if there is a round seven. But I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> Recording the final moments of this. I think it's the final moments of this. So let's see where I come out on the standings. If a reward pops up, I came out in the top 32. If not, so be it. But we'll see. It looks like I'm I'm almost at the top of the list. I'm like halfway on the list, I think. So around 35. But let's see. There should only be like a minute and a half left on this. So I'm just going to tune back in whenever we get closer, I guess. Oh, round seven. Never mind, guys. Looks like we're going to round seven. I will see you when it starts. Hello there, Sty. Are you ready to die? <laughs> oh, terrible pun. Okay, let's just let's get this and hope that we can win this. Because I think if I win this, that's 4-3, and three, and that might be good enough to get me in the top 32. Because currently, I am number 35 out of, like, 70. But I am working on it. Come on. And this experience with Green Red Tron has really made me uh, want to add more of those Circle of Protection Green. Get rid of those Dispels. I have, like, no use for them, and this is a terrible hand. Okay. I will be mulliganing. Do I keep this? I have mana ramp and a creature, but I don't have an early... Well, I have mana ramp and I have a creature, but I have no way to artifact. Okay, this is a keepable hand. Get rid of that, and one urban sprawl. Okay. Oh, blue counter spells. Okay. Hmm. I might be able to beat this. Okay, so we go, not the Urban Sprawl, we'll go the Scout, so next turn he'll have two, which will mean that he can hold up for the Fairy. Wait, what? Oh, that's on his turn, okay. So he doesn't have the two mana, he has zero mana, okay, I'm good to go on my next turn. It's a good thing to hear. Okay, I take it. Crumbling Vestige, okay. Um, we play this. Unbridled Growth. Hey, kitty cat. Then we play the Urban Sprawl. Give me green. And hit him back with one. Because we need to be able to uh, give and take damage. Don't, don't smack at the dog. Okay. Two mana. So if I play a three cost like this, thank you. He should be unable to do anything about it. Unless he plays a straight up counterspell. Which is highly likely. There it is. Counterspell. Okay. But still, I'd rather get the counterspell out of the way so it doesn't affect me. Play the vestige later. Next turn, well, at the end of his turn, I'll sacrifice this Unbridled Growth because I don't really need it anymore. Because he countered my one white. 
and uh, what I want is some card. What I want is a card. Okay, holding up two mana for preordain. Okay. Okay. Sacrifice and draw a card. Okay, another scout. Okay, abundant growth. See if they counter. Nope. Okay. All good to go. We will add a green to play this. See if that gets countered. It could be hit by the sprite, which is unfortunate. But then that's one sprite he has on the field. Okay, he let it go through. Let's hold on to that as a cheap spell to play later. Okay. I forgot about just straight up counter spell whenever I was playing that armadillo cloak. Otherwise, I would have thought about it. He's gonna get the counter spell back. Okay. Oh no, he's getting a preordain. That means he must have a counter spell in his hand. Okay. A preordain. So he's going to go straight into another. So he could go into another preordain. Okay, I'll take it, and you will go down to 17 on my next turn, or less. Ethereal armor. Let's play this. Let's play this. Okay, they both went through. So we'll just hit him for one. Okay. Another preordain. Okay, that's three preordains. I know he has a counter spell in his hand, because otherwise he wouldn't be holding up this much mana. Unless he just had nothing else to play with it. Which he might not have anything. But then also he's running uh the Ash Barons, which makes me think that he's running another color. Ninja? Nope. Okay. Three cards in hand. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. So one of these manas for a boggle. Lose the mana, I don't care. Bring him down to 15. This is the game of piddly damage. Okay, I'll bring him down to 13 on my next turn unless he flips it in. Yep, okay. So now I know he has the fairy in his hand, though. He's gonna play it. Okay, that's not very good. If I could play multiple of them per turn, that'd be great, but I can't. Okay, if I get another enchantment like Utopia Sprawl, then I should be good. Okay, a Brainstorm. Fairy Seer. I would play the Seer then, the Brainstorm, but uh, that's just me. He can do whatever he wants. Okay. I'm going to double block that, because I don't want to be getting hit by a ninja. And they don't have battle tricks because they're mono blue. So I will hold back, I guess. That's unfortunate. I can't get any damage in. Tragic lesson. Okay. The sanctuary. Okay. It's not good. That's not what I want at all. Can I play anything this turn? Nope. So just yield. Tragic lesson. Okay. So they have counter spells. I know that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be holding on to. The... Well, ah, another ninja. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Go 
Come on, I need another light mana or a playable spell. This is likely to get counterspelled. Okay. Sprite. Let him use some counterspell. Go ahead. I'm sure you got one. Oh no, I've played those out of order. And I can't do anything now. I misplayed there pretty heavily. If I would have played the Ornarlid first, he would have been forced to use a regular counterspell. Okay, we block. We double lock here because I really don't want that ninja being on the battlefield. Okay. Here's another blocker. That's all I can do. Hit you for one damage. Okay. I don't concede. But I don't see much in the way of what I can do. Because he's hit that critical amount of mana, which is like four. So there's not much I can do. Okay, I need just like a bomb, but I don't have any. Yeah, that's game. Okay, concede. Go on to round two. Get the dispels. Get the gut shots. Actually, get this whole set right here. Goodbye, fling. Goodbye, cartouche's strength. Goodbye, solidarity. Uh, kind of bridled growth. I don't know what this standard. Oh, the standard bear is to counter off the boggles. I remember now. Uh, take off a uh, one of those and one of these. Okay, I want low to the ground things. Because if I can deal with his uh fairies then it shouldn't be a problem so I just have to wait till he's open and then just blow off his fairies because killing three of those well killing a scutter spell stutter sprite and one of the fairy seers would seriously put him back because you wouldn't be able to just ninjutsu that uh ninja the deep, deep hours in so that's what I'm going for with the gut shots and the electricity and the d spells are for the counter spell for the counter war to be able to counterspell their counterspells. Because if I can't counterspell their counterspells, well, if I can't play cards, that's kind of it. Uh. Okay. Let's hope they don't take the whole time on this. If I win this, I still gotta go to round three. What do I do then? Keep it the same and just run it back? I mean, I kind of want the Cartouche of Strength, but I kind of also don't want it just because it's such a high cost. Maybe if it was a two cost and didn't give the plus one plus one, I would run it. But it takes three mana and uh, it's probably going to be taken out of this deck after this popper challenge. I haven't seen much use for it other than that one time I used it. And even then, it didn't really help too much. The Unbridled Growth, I always remove it. So I think it's going to be permanently taken out of this deck. Fling, I will keep just for the rare circumstance. That I can just hold back some defenses and just build up a single creature. Or if they have something like Circle of Protection Green against me. That way I can just build it up and then just fling it at them. Because if they're running protection against green, they're probably not running protection against red. Because I'm a green blue, green white deck. Uh, do I keep this? No, can't. This I can though. This is a lot of creatures. Okay. 
put away a scout. Keep a card on the bottom, done. Then we go boggle, next turn we'll do favor. Hit him for three in the air. Because by then they should only have one mana, two mana. One, yeah they should just have one mana. Which they're probably going to use to spend on something. I might be thinking too deeply into this and that might be getting me messed up every now and then, but it's what I do. Okay, let them go. Yep. He played something. Okay, that's good for me. So I don't have to worry about a uh, force spike. Oh, two of those. No, I need this. Two Rancors, though, next turn are going to be very good. And he's just going to take it. Yep. That's so. Okay. So we can counter one next turn, but he can't counter both. Oh, hey, look, he let me draw. More damage? No? A counter spell. A straight up counter spell. Okay. I guess that keeps him on the seven turn clock. Five five turns till I win. Or a few well, if he gets rid of my boggle, then I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do then. Okay, he spent all his mana. Give me a land. Draw me a land. What can I do? If I draw a land, then I can put the armadillo cloak on and then I'm fairly good. Yes, I am good. My precognition knows no bounds. <laughs> no, it knows a lot of bounds. But this puts him on a three turn clock now. And sets me far ahead in the life race. Okay, pondering. Acceptable. Well. Really, attacking with everything. I will block the Augur of Bolas. I know you're just going to flip one of them out. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay, two mana. Did not do too much for you. Okay. Rancor. That is almost death. Then the scout on the bottom floor to block off that ninja. And it will give me the seven life. Okay. So he needs how much defense? Six? Yeah, that was it. When I blocked the Augur of Bolas, that was kind of it for him. Okay, should I add anything? Um, That's not going to get very big since it doesn't beef on its own, so I'll grab the Cartouche instead of the Ancestral Mask. Then we'll run it back. Run it back. Oh, they're ready to go. Okay. Let's go, Stai. See what I've got. <laughs> oh. Man, this is stressful. And fun. Much the fun, though. I feel like I've gone up against this guy in, like, single single matchups. But, uh, in a tournament, I believe this is my first time. I can't believe he's as low as me, though. He knows if he lets me go first, I'll have the advantage, basically. A very strong advantage, because I'll be able to get my aggro out that much quicker. And if he goes first, or she, if Stai goes first, they'll have more mana to be able to counter my stuff. So, the obvious, well, I wouldn't say obvious, but... The strong choice would be to play first, in a blue deck at least.
because he had to side out those other red cards because targeted removal for Boggles does just does not work. I'm just glad I didn't run into any mono black just because those would have been fun to deal with. I only have two effective counters against them. One of them is uh, Cartouche of Solidarity and the Kalani Garden. And then just playing a lot of creatures, I guess. But I don't have very many creatures in this deck. If I had more, then maybe that strategy would be valid. But, uh, they... okay, there we go. Ooh, but no creature. Mm. I have to spell for whenever I get a creature. Seer. Okay, land, that's not really what I wanted. Hmm, a ninja already. At least I don't have to worry about a counter spell yet. Uh You'll produce a green. Hold on to it for the counter spell. Okay. The ledge walker. Okay. Ledge walker is good. Dang, I already played it. Oh well. Okay. Ledge walker, he can't counter. That creates a white and a green, so I'm not going to do it. Should have had it produce white mana. Brainstorm. Instant speed. Counter it? No. I'll let it go through this turn. So he effectively is going to get two cards that he knows of, knows of, and then one on top of his deck that he knows. Okay? Nope. Never mind, he's shuffling. That's actually not a bad combination with the Brainstorm. I wonder if he drew it off the Brainstorm. Okay. And in the final round, the final match, the final game. Oof. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> okay, so I can produce a white mana, but it won't do me much. Oh, they disconnected. Um, I hope they come back. Okay, uh... I'll be back once they are. And it has been four minutes since he's disconnected, and now we are stuck here, speaking quietly. What shall we talk about for the next ten minutes? Shall we talk about Theros, the upcoming set, and its impact on Papa? Well, let's see. There's the nice one white, one in a white instant that blinks enchantments. Might be a good comeback for the reality acid deck. Maybe. Might phase out Tron if that's the case. Well, probably won't replace the meta of Tron, but it will helpfully but it will definitely help beat up Tron. There's a nice Cyclops who's six in a blue, but he costs one less for each enchantment you control. Which that's good. Having it cost less is always good, because then you don't have to spend as much mana on it. And we are entering minute five of our wait for Sty. Sty, the guy who has an elf as their avatar profile, is running a blue-red deck with Scred, I believe, but they probably cited it out for something more useful against my 
green-white deck with hexproof. Oh, excuse me. And why we wait, we shall talk about more stuff. How about a drain and popper? Honestly, there was only one card from Eldraine that I was really excited for Popper with, and that was the Witching Well. Everything else was a little lackluster. I believe there was a reprint of something that was a uh, decent for Popper. What was it? Hmm. Not the Sprite. Nobody runs that uh fairy that draws you one card whenever I'm turns to the battlefield. Uh, okay. Minute six? Minute six. Kind of running out of things to talk about here. Come, oh, he's back. Okay. Hey, Sty. Whew. I was a little worried there. Took him a whole six, seven minutes. Seven minutes to reset his router or something. And I mean, I have to take it. He's hitting me with his Ninja the Deep Hours, and I just have to take it. Okay. And he gets to draw his card. Hopefully, not play a land. Two spells, stutter. Snipes are going to be hard to deal with. And I played the wrong land. Okay. This is getting off swimmingly. If I would have played the Crumbling Vestige, I would have been able to play a Ethereal Armor. And he did have the Sprite. Okay. And off the auto yields. Okay, I have how many turns left? Not many. Okay, I'll have to do this. I have to do something. If he taps the red, then I know I've made a mistake. But if he doesn't, then I should get myself a 4 4 first strike guy. Electricery. Yep, we're gonna stop that. I don't think he was expecting a dispel, but he's got a counterspell on him. Oh, he has a dispel? Why? Oh no. That is really not good for me. Because now I'm left with no creatures. Okay, lose the mana. I keep drawing lands. I've drawn five lands now. Okay. which means he'll have a counter spell at the ready. Through this turn, that's four damage. I have one more turn to live. I have one more turn after this. So if I don't draw a spell, I lose. If I don't draw a creature, I lose. And even then... Even then, it's still not enough. Let's play it. If he has the sprite, I lose. Yep, that's it. Well, it's been a good match, folks. Where are we sitting on the standings now, I wonder? Very low. Very low. I am three and four. There's. Let's see how many people are above me. Oh, so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, well, I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, uh, I don't think I'm getting the 32nd place prize. Nope. Maybe if enough people quit, they'll count it, but I don't think so. I don't think they do that. There are only three matches left? Okay, well, I will be back as soon as this is done. Hello there again. This will be my last little call out on this, but uh, we're on to the last match of the night. Uh... This is the last thing to see if I pop myself up into that position I wanted, or if I fall back down to the bottom. I have three out of four. I had uh, one buy. And, but look at this. Look at this uh, trooper, this scared devil. Man, they lost five matches, yet they're still in. They haven't quit. Unlike, let's look at some of these people who have quit. Two, look at this. They won two and they lost two. Really? Okay. I guess that's not terrible, but with a record like two and two and two, you could have gotten up in here in the four and three range and you could have been above me. Come on guys, don't give up just because it looks like you're gonna fail. Just keep going for it. Like look, this Stai guy, he was a four and two. He could have been a four and three if it wasn't for him beating me. So now he's a five and two. Am I looking at the right guy? Yes, <laughs> yes I am. So that brings him up a little bit. So see, if I had quit, he wouldn't have gotten those points. And if I would have quit, I wouldn't have gotten from 0 and 3 to 3 and 4. I won three games in a row and then lost the fourth. Or did I win two in a row? Either way. Well... I have been eliminated because I wasn't in the top so many. What was I? Number 40? Well, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Don't even get a little consolation prize for this. The guy with the buy was above me? That's dumb. But, okay. can replay above rounds like this no no what do we mean by replaying rounds how do you do that I don't know let's see what happens whenever it gets down to the bottom oh show past rounds there we are there's a good list of everything Lord Beers is at the top. Jake Silent and Jake Helms. Yeah. Jake Helms moved back up to second place. Entropy moved from third to first. Good for him. Okay. And look, I was actually all the way at 16th at one point. No, wait. Is that right? Seven? Yeah, I was all the way up at 16th. Don't know how I did that. Oh, that was in that round that I was 16th. Right? If I was to organize it by games. Can I organize it by games? Oh, that uh, messed it up severely. Okay, let's just put it back as it was. And see if I can do it by this. Okay, does it kick me out? No? Okay. I could stay here and watch all the results. But do I really want to do that? Not particularly, so I'm just going to duck out now. Actually, since I'm out of the event, I think I can go to uh, this. 1582, not bad. I think I can go here and make some changes to my deck. So, definitely getting rid of that unbridled growth. Um, maybe not the lifelink, I didn't use that that much keep those okay probably one card for the sideboard and a the fight spell is really nice for a counter against the standard bear so I'm gonna keep it 
But uh, this gives me. Oh, sorry. This gives me any mana. I need the forest. Kalani Garden helps against black. So I think I'm just gonna find one card for the deck and then uh, let's see. Just look up the ores that I have. Yeah, just show me the ores that I have and let me see if I can find anything good. Hmm. No. So doesn't no slime bind. I don't really want to go for a like. What's it called? Control spell. I want to go for something aggro, aggressive. Um, this gives it plus one plus one and trample for one mana. Hmm. Sacrificing a force doesn't sound terrible, but I don't really want to do that. If I had to pick one, I honestly think I might pick something of the higher end, which would be either the Moldervine Cloak or the Elephant Guide. Wolfkin Bond gives it plus two plus two? Yeah, and it gives me a two two body. But it's so expensive. Okay, I think I'm just going to grab myself a... Uh, this corrects mana never used it. I'm going to grab a Fortitude and see how that plays out. Then for my sideboard, I'm going to grab a something, I guess. Plus one, plus one flying. Can't be blocked. Actually, you know what? Let's see, where's my... What did I put in? Fortitude? I will put in an Aqueous form. Just because an unblockable thing is always good and scrying is very good. And then for my sideboard, I'll add in another cartouche or maybe a circle of green again. Zero. Circle of protection. Green. Okay. Should get me what I want. Yep. Another one of those. There we go. Okay. So that's my new boggle deck. I'm probably going to keep testing this out between this and next week, if I even do next week, since I don't have the coinage for it right now, since I didn't win that match. But, oh well. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.